Have you ever met someone that held your attention just by walking in the room? And they made you feel like you could do anything or be anything that you wanted to be when you spoke to them? Were they smooth and did they leave you with an impression that you never forgot about? Well, that person had charisma. My name is Cassie Walter and today we're going to discuss the definition of charisma, how to demonstrate it, and how to bring it back when negativity is bringing you down. What is charisma, might you ask? Charisma is the ability to draw people towards you like a magnet. Charismatic leaders use persuasiveness and undeniable charm to fill others with intensity and eagerness. Their way of persuading others can be indescribable. They are able to identify what people need and offer them engaging solutions to satisfy their needs. When I think of a charismatic leader, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is a person that I think of first. He was one of America's most influential people of all times. He galvanized large groups with his speeches. His ways of encouraging others to protest nonviolently was effective because he spoke with conviction. Many followed and believed his word. They trusted that he was leading them in the right direction and knew that he cared for all people. Another leader that comes to mind is Steve Jobs. Jobs was an amazing persuasive speaker. He mastered rhetoric and had the ability to adapt it to any situation. He preferred to use stories to present his material instead of numbers. He felt that others would understand it more. He drew his audience in by making them feel comfortable. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Steve Jobs possessed the qualities of a charismatic leader and left lasting impressions on every group they spoke to. Every leader should have charisma because it is what encourages people to follow you and trust in you as their leader. They should feel comfortable to come to you with anything, whether it be positive or negative. Now, let me share with you how I show charisma. I am currently a leasing consultant, and I have been able to master my charismatic presence in my workplace. When prospects enter the front office, I greet them with a smile. I leave from behind my desk and shake their hand. I ask them what brings them into this area and how they could describe their perfect home. I place all my attention on them as they answer their question, and most importantly, I make eye contact. Throughout the tour, I get to know them. I tell them personal things about myself, and I talk to them as if they are a good friend. I close the tour by assuring them that they can personally count on me for all their needs and escort them out the office. I go above and beyond for my prospects, and that's what set me, sets me apart from my colleagues. I also show charisma when I'm dealing with residents. I like to ask them how they're doing, what their plans are for the day or for the weekend. I pay attention to their changes in attitude, and I ask them what's wrong if I notice there's a difference. My residents know that if they need me, that I am just in the office, a phone call, or a quick email away. I make sure that I'm always available to help them. There are many ways that you can demonstrate charisma. Number one. Go beyond the surface when you meet people. Get to know others by finding the good in them. Be patient. Compliment them. This will encourage them to want to succeed and follow behind you because they know that you believe in them. Know that it's not all about you. You're part of a team. Charisma can easily be mistaken for arrogance, so make sure that you are showing a genuine interest in others. Number two, hold your head up high. Nothing shows confidence like a manager that has grace and charm. Find your confidence and let it lead you. And lastly, number three. If that day comes that you just aren't really feeling it and you can't exemplify charisma, take a step back from what you're doing and meditate on the good things in life. Smile. Take time to think about all the positive things and accomplishments in your life. Think about the hard work you put in to get to where you are. You can't be charismatic to others and encourage them without first encouraging yourself. In conclusion, remember that charisma is the ability to draw others towards you. Charismatic leaders are successful because their attitudes and delivery show that they know their stuff. If you want your team to follow you and trust you, use your charisma to get them there. If you feel down, take some time to find yourself. Hold your head high, smile, and encourage others to be charismatic. Be as charismatic as the smell of freshly popped popcorn at a movie theater. You know what I'm talking about. You want people to follow you, and with my tips, 
you'll be undeniable. Thank you all for listening, and I now hope you have a better sense of how to show charisma. Get out there and be charismatic.